Hello and welcome to ExcelDashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve True. Please visit my blog at ExcelDashboardTemplates.com and sign up for our RSS email feed so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques, tips, and tricks delivered straight to your inbox. Okay, uh, today I had a request from a user who wanted to know if they could create a chart like this. Uh, this represents numbers over every quarter. We've got uh, the same exact quarters. But you notice we have a secondary label at the very top of the chart for supplier A, B, and C. Uh, so I wanted to show how you could create a similar looking chart that had labels on the horizontal axis as well as a secondary horizontal axis. So let's go ahead and show you how we do that. Okay, so first what you want to do is you want to set up your data in a fashion like this. Uh, what we have here is we've got uh, a column of labels that are going to go on the secondary axis. Then we have our normal data that is going to go and build the chart for each one of the suppliers. Then I have a secondary filler access series. Um, and what this is going to do is this is how we're going to get the labels for supplier A, B, and C to show up on the secondary axis. Let me show you how we do that. So after we set up our data, we want to highlight the normal sales range that we were going to chart. Uh, plus the data, and then we want to add in this one extra column of data that has three different zeros labeled into it. And what we want to do is we want to go up to our insert ribbon, then we want to go to our column chart, and what we want to select here is just a regular standard clustered 2D column chart. Let's pull that up into the visible range so that you can kind of see what's going on. Um, all right, so uh, we have set up our chart very similar to what you saw before. It's got two different series. One you can't see because they're zeros. Um, and go to my blog to find out how to select this unselectable series. That's what you want to search for. But I'm going to click in the chart and then I'm just going to hit my up arrow until I ultimately get to that second series or down arrow if you will. Now you can see I've got the second series highlighted right here in the range on the spreadsheet even though you can't see that I've got it selected within the chart. Okay, so what we want to do is we then want to hit control one to do formatting of that data series and we want to move that data series to the secondary axis then click on close now you still can't see it because uh, we're not showing the secondary horizontal axis um, what we want to do is we want to show that now so click in the chart go up to your layout ribbon go to your axes button in the axis uh, grouping area and we want to do the secondary horizontal axis. And we want to show left to right axis. Okay, so there's that series two showing up now because it's going from one down to zero for the same quarters. Uh, we've got everything just about set up like we want. Um, let's go ahead and fix it so that we change this upper series to have the supplier A, B, and C. So click in your chart, go up to your design ribbon, then from your design ribbon you want to go into the select data button. Let's pull this over just a little bit. So we've got uh, the select data data source. So here's the first series and the second series. Now notice as I click on each of these the horizontal category access labels are not changing. So they set up as the same default horizontal category access that you had for before. We want to leave series one alone and leave it with quarters one through four. We want to click on the second series here in the legend entry series. Then we want to go into the horizontal category access label button over on the right. So it's important you first have to select the series two and click on edit over here on the right. So what we want to do is we want to change this range from being the first access labels in column B. We want to change it to column A. As you can see I've done there. Then you click on OK. Click on OK again and you're going to see we now have supplier A, B, and C set up uh, up above in, in the range of the same chart so you can see which supplier this is for and then which quarter that they're going to show up in each. All right, now I like to take care of and get rid of these lines and tick marks on this secondary horizontal axis. So click on uh, that upper horizontal secondary horizontal axis, right click on it and do format axis. Then what we want to do is we want to remove the major tick marks. We want to make none. And, the, uh, and then we want to go up to the line color and do no line. 
and then let's click on close and see how that looks. Okay, so it uh, looks like we've got it. You see a line right there, but that's because 120 has a major grid line at that same level. Uh, we can right click on the uh, left vertical, the first primary vertical axis, and do format axis. Then we want to change the minimum to fixed to zero and the maximum fixed to, oh, let's do something like uh, 100. Uh, let's go uh, 110. Go on OK. So now you can see um, we're just about done. The only thing we need to do is uh, do a little chart cleanup. These red lines for the second series are going to go away as soon as we delete the right or secondary vertical axis. So click on that and hit your delete key. You see they're gone now because uh, it's going to use the same number format that we have right now. It's going to go to zero and just stop. Then we can also get rid of this legend here and hit our delete key on that as well. So you can quickly see how we are able to get the supplier information up above each one of these uh, panel chart areas for each one of the quarters by using that secondary access and then changing what data labels or horizontal categories are showing up for that secondary access. So uh, this is Steve True. Please visit my blog at excel-dashboardtemplates.com. Also, please don't forget to sign up for my YouTube channel and become a subscriber so that you get the latest posting right in your inbox. Thank you.